we have a breaking news update on the 2015 Iron 8 Championship. During the match, we showed you on our last update for the vacant NECW Television Championship. Former two-time NECW Television Champion Toto Loco suffered an injury. We're going to take you back and show you just when that injury took place. Okay, here you see Toto Loco with sensational Scott Levesque in a compromised position. Levesque kicks out and rolls to the outside. Toto Loco with the advantage right here. Levesque trying to shake off the cobwebs. Levesque turns the corner, and here comes Toto Loco over the top. And look at that, a bad landing on the floor right there. Toto Loco hit the back of his head and his elbow on that landing. Both men, of course, in the 2015 Iron 8 Championship. Let's take another look at that in slow motion. Here comes Toto Loco, over the top. Levesque doesn't quite catch him, and Toto Loco hits the back of his head and his elbow on the wooden floor. Let's go right now to General Manager Paul Richard, who is standing by with Toto Loco. Wrestling fans, the extreme enforcer of Paul Richard here, General Manager of New England Championship Wrestling, and unfortunately, Toto Loco, I have some bad news. I've what? got documents from your doctor. You have a severely injured elbow at the hands of Scott Lebeck and a concussion. I'm okay. So you will not be able to participate in the IA Championship what? No, this year. No, I'm okay. It, the doctors I can, I can will fight. not clear you. I, no. I know you can, <laughs> but you think you can, you can't. We're worried about your safety. Please. There's nothing we can do, so unfortunately, you'll be out of the INA. Paul, Paul, I come so close last time. I know. I came so close last time. This is my year, Paul. I've been training all year for this. I am the Iron Monkey. This is my year. Please, Paul, I can I fight. Understand. Please let me fight, Paul. I understand Paul. Your, your career and your health is more important than putting you into the INA and risking more injury. So that's it. Total local. You're injured. You're not cleared by the doctors. We can't take responsibility. You will not be in the Iron Age. No, here. no. That's it. Scott Levesque, you did this to me on purpose? Scott Levesque, you're going to pay. You're going to pay, Scott Levesque. I'm going to monkey flip you on your head, Scott Levesque. This is not over. I don't care about that belt anymore. I want you, Scott Levesque. Oh, Scott Levesque. With Toto Loco out of the tournament due to injury, here are the opening round matches for the 2015 Iron 8 Championship. It'll be the mass hole Mike McCarthy taking on all good Anthony Green. Sensational Scott Levesque, the NECW Television Champion, takes on the Canadian Giant Genesis. The pure talent Chris Escobar faces three-time NECW Tag Team Champion Nick Fahrenheit. The Mind Eraser, Mike Rasha, taking the place of Toto Loco, takes on Brandon Thurston. The winners of those four matches will face each other in a four-way 45-minute Iron Man match. Whoever scores the most pinfalls or submissions in 45 minutes is the winner and the 2015 Iron 8 Champion. In addition, the NECW Heavyweight Championship is on the line in a dream match as champion Brad Hosner takes on the returning former champion Slick Wagner Brown. Fans, don't miss the 2015 Iron 8 Championship this Saturday night, May 9th, 7 p.m. at the Cove Community Center in Beverly.